All right, guys. Today we're gonna be showing you how to build the improved uh, blast furnace for immersive engineering. So we're just gonna do the three by three, just like the Coke oven. We're gonna fill it all the way in again at the next layer up, and then do the same for the third. So there you go. Next, you want to put a hopper on the top like that, and then you're gonna shift click and pop it into this cool little improved blast furnace. Now this thing goes faster, but it also can be automated. A lot better than the other so if that's all you needed there you go but next I'm gonna be showing you how to uh, make the furnace go faster and its outputs and inputs so let's do the these you can build these blast furnace preheaters and they go on these sides right here and they run on RF so I'm just gonna put those up there now to make the steel production significantly faster so next we want to check out our inputs and outputs. So when we put iron in here with some coal coke, let's just do half, half, sorry, whatever. So that's going to make this go a lot faster once these are uh, running and as you can see they're starting to spin up. It takes a bit for them to heat up and go a lot faster, but when they do they're great. So next we want to get uh, our conveyor belts and a dropper conveyor belt and place these down right here. And as you can see, just as I did that, the steel popped right out of there. And then we need a chest, actually. So we're going to put down our chest here. And then we want to do a block here first. So the conveyor belt will raise up onto the block. And then when we put this, uh, let's actually do it this way, because it's all running in the same direction. We don't need that there either. But this dropping conveyor belt, We'll drop that right down in there, and it does it. But as a byproduct of using this furnace, you get slag. And that's going to build up and stop your furnace from working. So to pull slag out of your furnace, you're going to come to the back right here. And you do the same exact thing as you would if you were doing this. If you want to send it into a chest or maybe put a piece of lava there, if you don't need the slag, then you can do that. And finally, the input. The input is right here at the top. And you do the same thing. Uh, now, I did find out that if you want to, you can't just leave it like this. So let's say I drop iron there. It doesn't go in there. So you do need the uh, drop-in conveyor belt for the items to go in. So let's say we send our iron there. Oops. I wish we could send it all down. That'll go right into our furnace as you just saw and also you can load it with your feel from this side too which is pretty convenient you don't have to have a separate line for each uh, you can see our it's going way faster than the normal blast furnace and uh, these heaters are definitely helping i believe i think so once they get going and uh i have no idea what slag's for yet i'll find out yeah, that's the uh, improved blast furnace. It's pretty cool. It looks a lot cooler than the other one, and that's about it.